All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome to a special FIFA 17 video. This one is very exciting for me because it's my first try at the brand new feature on Ultimate Team called Squad Building Challenges. Okay, I recorded some of this at the FIFA 17 capture event recently. I'm going to go through a couple of challenges, showing you how I approached them, how I got on with them, etc. Uh, drop a like on the video if you're excited for FIFA 17 and the new feature, Squad Building Challenges. Let's get into it. Okay, so first off, we're going to go into the Squad Building Challenges menu, which is obviously within the Ultimate Team dashboard. Okay, so welcome to Squad Building Challenges, a brand new mode that tests your squad building skills in exchange for exclusive squad building challenge rewards. Exchange your players. So what you do is you submit a squad based on players in your club, but you don't get them back afterwards. Once you give them, they're gone forever and they give you a reward, okay? Some of the rewards you can only get in squad building challenges. You can't get them on the market or buy them or anything like that. You can also do squad building challenges on the go on your phone and stuff on the app, I do believe, which is a nice feature as well. Right, so there's the let's get started, very, very basic squad building challenge. I'm not even gonna show you that. It's so basic, it's just a couple of players you got four positions. We're going to do the bronze, silver and gold upgrades though to start off with. This is where you give a load of bronze players in exchange for a reward, a load of silver players, etc. So we'll start off with the bronze upgrade challenge, okay? So I'm starting it from scratch. Now you see on the left hand side, player quality, it's got to be exactly bronze. So everyone has to be bronze. Team chemistry has to be a minimum of 70 and you've got to obviously have 11 players in the squad. So it's a pretty basic challenge. Well, I'm going to fast forward here, show you what I've come up with here. I'm just about coming to the end of the challenge here. I needed to make one more addition to get the chemistry high enough. Get another South Korea player in there, have him touching. You basically want the squad to be good enough to pass the challenge, but not too good that you're giving away players you don't want to lose. Okay, so I've pretty much done that here. 74 chemistry, I needed 70. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to submit the squad and get my reward. That was a very easy one, and obviously they get harder as you go on. But I completed the, the bronze upgrade. And what's cool about the bronze, silver, and gold upgrades is you can actually complete them as many times as you want. There's not just one attempt at it. You can keep doing it and keep getting the reward. So I get a two silver players pack. For that, let's see if it's any good. Who's in there? Right winger from Chile, Rios. Okay, right, not a game changer, but obviously I can use him in a future squad building challenge if I want. And what's good about the squad building challenges is they give you an opportunity to use items you don't want. If you open a lot of packs like me, you have a lot of surplus players, you either don't want to spend loads of time selling on the market, or you're not going to get what you want from selling them in the market because they're not worth anything. This gives you a chance to use them. So we're going to do a silver upgrade challenge now, which is exactly the same as the bronze challenge, but with silver players you have to submit instead. Everything else is the same, okay? So again, let me take you forward to when I've got my squad nearly ready. Again, I've got to make this, the chemistry a little bit stronger to pass the test. So I'm going to take this, this French silver centre-back out, put a German in there. I think I have quite a few Germans in here. And they've got to change my keeper as well. I think I'm going to stick another German in goal as well. And then, should be complete. I do believe the chemistry will be strong enough. There you go, 77 chemistry. Everything's ticked on the left-hand side. So we can go ahead and submit this squad. And we can get our reward for that one. Again, fairly easy. Just a way of getting through the players you don't want to keep in your club. You're not playing them. You're not using them in games. Uh, three common gold players pack. So let's see who I get in this reward pack. Anyone half decent? We want to get that walkout animation with the fireworks. That's when you know you've got a good player. I've not got it here. I've got Herulio Gomez of Watford. Probably someone I will be using in a future squad building challenge, I imagine. Anyone else decent in that pack? Let's have a look. Mizroli, I mean, he's actually a duplicate anyway. Gomez and Traore. I've got them in packs I've already opened on this account during the capture event. So they're not going to help us very much. Let's go on to the gold upgrade. Again, same as the other two challenges. We're just going to submit 11 gold players to get that reward. The only difference is now the chemistry actually has to be 80 and not 70. So the chemistry has got to be a little bit better. So who am I going to stick in here? Just the finishing touches being applied. Don't want to give any of your rare ones away if you can help it because obviously you can get more money for them on the market. You just want to give away the least popular players in your club, but the chemistry is good enough there. I've gone down. There's a lot of Spanish players there. Almost all Spanish, in fact, apart from that Belgian at left wing. And that submitted the squad. I completed that challenge. Gold upgrade done. And uh, they're the easiest challenge available, pretty much. And we're going to get another reward for that. Two rare gold players packs, which will come in handy. Because as you'll see in future challenges, some of them insist on you using rare players, which makes it harder. Who are we getting in here? Anyone good? It's going to be, oh, it's going to be Kasper Schmeichel, the goalkeeper. 81 rated, Premier League winner. We'll take him. Who else do we get in there? We've got Ruiz. Okay, centre back from La Liga. Again, we'll either use them in a team or we'll use them in a squad building challenge. We're going to move on to the advanced challenges now. Let's start off with one of the hybrid nations uh, challenges. Now, if you complete each challenge, you get a reward. Once you complete a whole set, i.e. all the hybrid nations challenges, you get a bigger reward as well. So we're going to start with a five nations hybrid. So what are the rules here? We need exactly five different nationalities. So straight away, it's a lot more challenging than the other ones. Um, only three players from the same nation, okay? Overall rating must be 70. Rare players, exactly five. So we do have to use some rare players in this one. T 
team chemistry of 80 and obviously 11 players in the squad. So this is much harder already. Okay, skipping forward. This is the team I started with. You have to use the formation they give you as well, three at the back. However, I didn't have enough rare players in here. I only had a couple of rare players. I think I had three in this squad right now. I need five. So I've got to find some rare players to drop in, right? Thought about swapping this Russian centre-back for a rare Russian league centre-back, but I didn't have any in my club just yet. You obviously need to have them in your squad, and I didn't have them. So I have to swap someone else. Fast forward a few minutes, I went with a Polish centre-back from Liga. I think it's called Glick. And uh, this French Giroud lookalike Costil in goal. So I've got my five rares now. I can submit the squad and get my reward. This challenge probably took me a good 10 minutes, though, I'd say. Maybe more. They get hard. Some of them take longer than that. So we get our challenge reward for that one. A premium silver players pack. Now, you've got to really toss up whether you think the reward is worth it. Because if you're putting good rare players in there, which you can sell for maybe six, 700 coins minimum for quick sale, more on the market, you might not want to do the challenge. It depends how good the reward is. But if you get the whole collection of challenges done, the big reward can be quite tasty. Didn't get really anyone good in that pack, that silver pack there. They're all likely to go in a future squad building challenge, I'm sure. Let's try the other hybrid nations one. This is called the Seven Nations Challenge. Okay, you have to have exactly seven nations in this one. Uh, and also team chemistry, a minimum of 85, overall rating of 80. There's no insistence that I have to use rares, which is good. I can use non-rare players. So this is a squad that I've put together so far, but the overall rating was not good enough, okay? I was using the players I wanted to get rid of, but I had to improve it. So unfortunately, I had to put Havadez in there. He's an 84-rated centre-back. Now, he still doesn't take me to the 80 rating mark, so I'm still not quite good enough. And now, I've got too many Germans in there. So I'm having to take this guy out, upgrade him to Thorgan Hazard, 79 rated, which has given me an extra nationality. I think now I've got too many nationalities. Uh, I am now 80 rated though. The rating is there, but the nationalities aren't right. So I think what I end up doing is swapping my striker here for another Dutch striker from the Bundesliga. So we've got two Dutch strikers in there, which gives us a couple of Netherlands guys, a Belgian player, a Slovenian player, a couple of Swiss players, a French player, a Greece player, and then some Germans. That gives us seven nationalities exactly, which is what we needed. And we've got everything else. We've got the rating. We've got the chemistry. But again, you've really got to think about the reward here. It's a jumbo premium gold pack. I'm giving away an 84 rated player. Some 81 rated players. Some good players in there because of who was available in my squad. I had to give away some rares. And I had to make sure it was 80 rated squad overall. Now, yes, those players might not go for a lot on the market. But... You might want to use them in your team. So you've got to think hard. Because once you submit it, they're gone forever. This is obviously on the capture event account. So these players aren't actually my players anyway. So I'm happy to submit these guys and get my reward. Okay, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack in the bag. Let's take a look at who we get in this one. Is it someone decent? Are we going to get the fireworks? No, there's no walkout. Spanish right back from Newcastle, Gamez. Obviously a championship player now. Not a game changer at all. Not a great pack actually for that one. So I've lost some good players in exchange for that pack. Is it worth it? Maybe once I complete the whole set of challenges, it will be. Instead, though, we're going to take a look at the hybrid leagues now. We're going to move on. Uh, let's try this quad challenge. There's lots of different challenges to get through. Uh, so what have we got to do for this one? Okay, so this is 4-1-2-1-2 formation. We have to have exactly four leagues in there, but no more than four players from the same league. Overall rating of 79 minimum. Five rare players minimum. Uh, team chemistry of 70. So not too much chemistry needed, but... The rest of it's quite hard. Let's take a look how I got on. Okay, so here's what I've got so far. Chemistry is good. The rating is, is getting there. It's not quite 79. And I need some more rare players in there because I've only got four rare players in there at this point. So I think what I'm going to end up doing here is getting rid of uh, Martin Zindi at centre-back. And I think I changed my right-back as well. I get that Gamez guy who I just got in the pack before in at right-back. And it's another league because it's championship. Jagielka's come in at centre-back. I've actually got six rares in there. I only needed five, but that was the players I had. I submit it. I passed it. A tricky one, though. Took me a bit of time. That one, probably 15 minutes, I reckon, to get it right. And then we submitted it. We're opening the pack. Oh, we're getting someone decent. It's another right-back. Oh, it's Real Madrid. It's Danilo. That's not bad. 80 rated. Decent reward. Better. But the challenges took longer and I had to submit some good players in there. That's a quite a good pack though. A lot of players in there. A few duplicates. We'll take them and we'll quick sell the uh, spare ones. And for my final challenge of the video, I'm going to take on the sixes a hybrid leagues challenge. This one, I need exactly six leagues. Overall rating of 80. All players have to be rare. Every single player I submit has to be a rare item. No more than two from the same league. Team chemistry of 80s is much harder than the last challenge. And let me tell you, this one took me the best part of half an hour. I got to this point, went down a kind of Brazilian route, lots of Brazilians in there, but I still didn't have the chemistry I needed, right? So I actually had to go to the transfer market for this one. I didn't have the players I needed to complete it. 
So then you've got to think about how much money you're spending. Is it worth what you're having to spend on the market? This was during the capture events. There was basically no one on the market. This guy was listed for 8,000 coins, but I wanted to complete it to see what reward I got. So I bought him in, allowed me to get the, the required chemistry. Lots of Brazilians in there. I submit the squad, and hopefully the reward is going to make it worthwhile. So I've got one prime gold players pack. So prime makes it sound like it's going to be quite good. It looks like we've got some fireworks kicking off. Yes, we have. It's going to be a walkout situation. Czech Republic flag goalkeeper Petr Czech. It's got to be. Yes, Petr Czech comes out. Let me tell you, I opened a lot of packs on this day. The walkouts are rare. 88 rated. Petr Czech is there. That, my friends, is a good example of where buying someone on the market to complete a squad building challenge could be worth it in the end run because the reward was decent. The rest of the pack wasn't bad as well. I think that Kaya guy, the centre back, someone I actually just submitted in that squad, so I got him straight back again. And that's all the squad building challenges I've got time for in this video. I'm very excited about doing this uh, more in the future, particularly for series like Wheel of Footshoe, where I have a lot of spare players in my club from the packs that I open. I can now actually put them to good use. So let me know in the comments below if you're excited for the squad building challenges. Drop a like on the video if you're looking forward to more FIFA 17 content. Subscribe to make sure you see it first. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, don't go changing.